you've tuned in to Coed Gaming. What's up guys? My name is Mike of Coed Gaming, and I have a question. What the hell happened to gaming ads? Have you noticed that as the years go on, gaming ads, specifically from Nintendo, have got more and more lame and at times just downright stupid? In the mid-90s, when Nintendo and Sega were the greatest of rivals, and the Super Nintendo was going head-to-head -head with the Sega Genesis, Nintendo had some of the most kick-ass advertisements in order to sell the Super Nintendo. In addition, Sega had one of the most brilliant marketing strategies imaginable for the Sega Genesis. All the kids at school were talking about blast processing, how fast the Sega Genesis was, and how it was able to create such fast scrolling games like Sonic the Hedgehog. If you were a kid growing up in the mid-90s, these ads mesmerized you. They captured your imagination and definitely epitomized what the 90s were all about. Take this one for example. Words can't describe the endless challenge of Super Mario World, so we let the players do the talking. Super Mario World is here. It's one of the new generation of Nintendo games. It comes only with Super Nintendo, and it's like nothing you've ever faced. Now you're playing with power. Super power. You see? You see what they did? They used dark visuals, a deep, intimidating voice, and they made Super Mario World look like a true challenge, a true test of your skill. This looked like the kind of game that was not for the faint of heart. Now, comparing apples to apples and sticking with Nintendo, let's take a look at one of the ads that Nintendo used for the Wii U back at E3. If I don't beat this zombie boss, I'm gonna end up talking to myself like a crazy person. Right, non-specific action figure? You gotta be joking! What happened? Where's the fun? Where's the energy? There's nothing! I'm not even trying to be funny! There's literally nothing! Now again, going back to the 90s, let's take a look at one of the most infamous Sega Genesis commercials of all time. This is Genesis Does. Genesis Does! 16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo! Genesis Does! 16-bit sports action. You can't do this on Nintendo! Genesis Does! Genesis Does! Genesis Does! Genesis Does! Genesis Does! Get Joe Montana free, Pat Riley free, Buster Douglas free, Super Monaco GP free, or Collins free. What Nintendo Okay, so, what can we learn here? Well, we can learn one good thing about Sega's advertising campaign. They knew how to make their product look good while making the competitor's product look like garbage. And that's another thing that's completely lost in modern gaming advertisements. Companies don't go after each other anymore. Imagine if you saw a PS4 ad that said the Xbox One is a load of dog shit. Or an Xbox One ad that said that the PS4 can suck a bag of dicks. You don't see that anymore. Why? Why the hell not? It gets so many people so much more interested in the products. Because not only is it making your product look good, it's making the other products look bad. And considering how much people fight on the internet over which console is better, you're just capitalizing on this infamy. Nintendo used to have the most kick-ass ads on the planet. They had ads that made your bones shake. They had ads that made your blood run cold, as seen by some of these ads previously. But they just don't do that anymore. And I'd really like to see some good, hard-hitting, intimidating Wii U ads in the coming years. Especially with games like Bayonetta 2. Come on, Nintendo. Embrace the boobs. Make sure to subscribe to Coed Gaming. Until next time, peace. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the show, please hit the like, favorite, and subscribe buttons down below. No animals were harmed in the making of this film, and if you think we did well, then you're a shallow prick. Don't forget some of the past videos we did, which can be found in the boxes here and here. And as always, you guys are fucking beautiful. Except for Mikey. Fuck you!